The time is almost exactly 17 minutes past nine. And that means that there are 3,416,400 minutes left till the end of the century. And that's the amount of time five critics and cultural commentators in a sealed studio in Kensington have to keep talking. They're called Debate 2000, and in 1990 they embarked on a 10-year discussion designed to pull into focus everything that modern man has achieved. Debate 2000 is available exclusively to the day-to-day -day through a triple-screened green cable which terminates in this studio's far left-hand wall. Well, let, let's ask then, what is a novel? A novel is a tool produced by a worker in an industry called culture. <laughs> oh, Bobadash. Yeah, very I mean, clever. Honestly. Very clever. Because we can all agree that the novel is composed of words. So maybe we should discuss what, what is a word. <laughs> that, that, a word. Well, I think that's yes. a bit that's, basic. I mean, what, what are we going to achieve by discussing what is a word? That's a, word? Several, that's a lot of words there. Yeah. I, I, I don't see that's that... That's some more. If, if I could just... If I could just that's, come, well, I, that's... We, this we, is we, where, we, that we, was the word words are absolutely... Yeah, the, the, these are, are, are irrelevancies. Well, well yeah, we have not. to actually go beyond yeah, that not. and... Uh, no, please. And ask what what is silence. Yes. What is silence? Yes. We need to create... We need to create a discourse of silence. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. No, he's absolutely right. I'm not saying. Right, if we could just move oh, on. No. We were trying to explore. Well, we were trying to establish a moment. Yeah, but we weren't ready to just move on. chattering away. Can't you just be quiet? You're just... not spitting on me. Debate 2000, showing that in Europe, at least, there's no disagreement about trading words. Time now for Sports Desk with Alan Partridge. Alan, you're a bit of a word man, aren't you? You like to feel a word. Um, I don't mind. I, I certainly, words, uh, where would we be without them? We wouldn't be able to communicate, and uh, certainly always handy when you're having a conversation. Yes, words, what do they feel like when they come out of your mouth? W what? What does a word feel like when it comes out? It's, well, it's... Sort of, whoa. <laughs> yeah, but you, does, does a long word feel different to a short one? Yeah, certainly, long ones. Right. What about significant what? words? How do they feel? What? Alan. What? Well, how, do, how do significant words feel when they come out? A long, really long ones. Are they, are they different in texture yeah. to... Yeah. Hello, and welcome to Sports Desk with Buttress me. Is a uh, yes, is mm, word. Yeah. Alan Partridge. And it's a special desk of sport now, as we look back on some of the sporting highlights of the past sports season. So lie down, relax, and let these sports commence. When it's cycling championships you're after, you can't say fairer than the Tour de France. Di Brandauer there in the lead, swaying from side to side in his own inimitable bike riding way. Klaus been there on the inside, pumping away with, his, with those gristle-like muscly legs inside the, those tight lycra shorts which have become his trademark. And I don't know what this man is playing at, there's no way. Surely the judges must come down like a ton of bricks on that. Carrying bikes on top of a car is not a sportsmanlike way to run this race. You join me in the helicopter now as we look down on these cyclists that look somehow like cattle in a mad way, but cattle on bikes. And there, Sven Gunsen, closely followed by his great friend and teammate Klaus Ben. And the man with the bikes on his car is, yes, he's disqualified, as I said. And uh, Klaus Ben there wins, riding non handed. No need for that. And it was upsets all the way in the dive championships. Greg Lagani, down, double back twister, bangs his head in it. Textbook, lovely. Let's see it again. He points down. Up in the air, double back twister, comes down, bangs his head on the board and in. Lovely. The judges surely will give him high marks for that. And how's this for a tumble? There she goes. Bounce, split over and over and over and then down and then back and over and over and over and over, back and over and over and up and down. That bit with the hands there, not so good. I mean, I can do that. But for my money, the best punches were being pulled this season in the boxing ring. There, round four in the middle of it here with the, uh, the plucky Liverpudlian and the uh, ginger boxer, as he's affectionately known to me. Thank goodness, actually, they're wearing gloves because I've witnessed bare-knuckle boxing in a barn in Somerset about three years ago and it was a sorry sight to see men goading them on in uh, such a barbaric fashion. And I'm rather ashamed to say I was party to that goading. 
and uh, two men fighting, as I saw in the barn that night, naked as the day they were born, and fighting the way God intended. Wrestling at points. I don't know if you've seen Women in Love, the marvellous scene by the fire. It uh, kind of resembled that. I'm Alan Partridge, and that was my sporting season. Why don't you join me again for another one? Join me. Matters green now. Rosie May's Environmation. Greenosphere. This is Rosie May with news from Green Earth, and Britain is soon to have its first portable cemetery. The cemetery, which opens to the size of a football pitch and features real soil, can hold up to a thousand corpses. The portable cemetery saves waste. Green on. Scientists in northern Canada have found a large hole in the horizon. The gap separating the sky from the ground has been measured as much as one mile high. Experts have temporarily tethered the sky to the earth with large winching ropes, but there are fears it could snap apart in the spring. Green. Take a look at this. Are you a qualified welder? I can, yeah, I've got, I've got an HND, which really? qualifies me to weld, yeah. That's marvellous. Oh, brilliant. So you yeah. could, like, rebuild the underside of uh, any car if it was, like... So I'll do, sh do chassis rebuilds. Oh, I think that's it. the most brilliant talent to have. Definitely. I think that's definitely. one of the most brilliant talents. It's been tremendous great yeah. it's, yeah. it's just fantastic. It's just common sense. No. This is all very yeah, interesting, I'm it's sure, important. but we have an agenda. Yeah, we'll talk about all your stuff. <laughs> it's it's not exactly. Now it's not my stuff. It is all your stuff. It is the stuff. What do you mean, the stuff? The stuff that we are supposed to talk about. The, the, it's, it's it's not the, the, the agenda, no, 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 the agenda is not so fixed as that. Sure, what, I, yes, what but the agenda does it, not it, include it, motor maintenance. Uh, That's not what it's motor, about. We, we might be... Motor maintenance is life, mate, whether you like it or not. It's A to B. You're not going to get anywhere, are you? might be leading... Well, you've got a problem. I've not got a problem. Please, we've got another eight years. I've not got a problem with you at all. No, I don't have. This is not a personal issue. It's not. You're personalising it all. I'm not looking at you in any way whatsoever. I am not looking at you at all. Put on it! Shall we talk about the Berlin Wall?